Today's budget allocates a staggering 105.4 billion, yet it offers very little for the average citizen or for Indigenous businesses. Where is this government's support for our risk takers, our entrepreneurs and our business, small business owners in this country? The hospitality sector, including our beloved restaurants, is left to fend for itself. This government is not interested in assisting or empowering the many small and medium businesses across this country. The Vendors Federations rightly labelled this budget as a disaster for the pub sector, as VAT remains at 13.5%. How many pubs and restaurants are to close because this government's act to protect vital jobs and businesses that are central to every town and village in this country has failed? The President of the Irish Hotel Federation has stated that the half-baked measure announced today will have almost no impact for businesses that are struggling with ever-increasing costs, much of which are a direct result of the government's own economic policies. Minister Chambers' speech today focuses heavily on the economic consequences of COVID over the past few years. I can think of no sector that has suffered more greatly than the hospitality sector. This was the time at which the government should have supported the hospitality sector and it failed it immeasurably. This budget also failed due to the lack of innovative or creative solutions to make our country and economy wealthier. Instead, we are presented with a surplus that would not exist without the millions from Apple. This is not a budget. Is an is it, it is a lesson on how to buy an election with the public's own money. Do you think people are stupid? The repeated energy credits are a complete joke. Why give money to energy companies when you could introduce legislation to stop the price gouging? But the Green Party legacy in this government is to drive energy, energy costs up, even if it means our elderly are dying in the cold year after year. We are, after all, the highest EU price country for energy. Go you. We are at an economic crisis point that requires radical and bold steps to support the Irish people. A state bank, for example, would have enabled people to have tax-free loans and pay 2% on the remainder of the loan up to 20 years, will provide a long-needed economic stimulus that benefits the public and offers the public the opportunity to thrive in the face of the biggest economic hurdle faced by people today. I am, of course, referring to the housing crisis and the home ownership crisis. The Help to Buy scheme, which has been well accommodated in today's budget, focuses exclusively on new bills. 5.1% of dwellings in Ireland are vacant. Where is the incentive for buyers or sellers here? This budget could do a lot more in supporting and incentivising landlords' re-entry to the market. Instead of properties lying vacant due to poor government rent controls in rent pressure zones, the controls on rent are now incentivising rental properties to be left vacant for a minimum of two years, showing this government's lack of foresight and its inability to see the downsides of its policies. Shamefully, this government is content with nothing more than a short-term solution to appear to be supporting renters and work workers, when in fact they are making access to the rental and buying market higher than ever before. We need comprehensive national infrastructure projects that will truly benefit our citizens. This is essentially for any long-term uh, vision by this government in solving the housing crisis. One has to ask the question, where is the fight of the Irish gone when we continue year after year to be failed and sold out by this government? Our continental neighbours would not hesitate to strike and protest, forcing government's co cooperation with their needs. Industry and our citizens have been failed. Let me remind this government, it is the citizens and their businesses that contribute every cent to the 105.4 billion this government has spent today. I am sickened by the continued monumental waste under this government. Where does it end? This government has abused its power and its trust with the people they were elected to manage. This budget does nothing for the people who need it most. The children with 
special needs fighting for school places, the children for spinal surgeries, needing spinal surgeries. If you had to give one billion to those children today, not one person in this nation would have cried about it. You didn't even mention them. It is time for change, and I urged the Irish public to vote for change at the ballot box in the coming weeks. We deserve better governance and accountability. Thank you, Senator. We deserve better. Okay, now the overall time for the